WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to, uh, well, this is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny, mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. And this is your <coughs> this is your 1 p.m. update. And currently we have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. Dow's off 29, S&P's off 20, NASDAQ's 155, that's one and a quarter percent. Semis are up one and a half percent, 44 points. Tranny's down 130. You've got gold up six bucks, silver's up 52 cents, lights we crude up three bucks right now. She's trading at 113.50. Natural gas up six cents, trading out at 7.72. And the 30 year treasury up one point and two ticks. She's trading at 140.05. Let's spend a few minutes, take a look at our nine panel market update chart. Since we were last with each other on Friday, I can confirm for you that there is a new daily profile that is formed. It is bullish in structure, the bottom of which, which would be support, where buyers are located, is at 38.99. The fair value area is the center of its profile. Price right now is trading above it. It closed above it on Friday, that level being 39.89. If we do get a close above 39.89 today, it increases the odds of price peak in a move to 41.68. Of course, during the radio show, <coughs> during the <coughs> Trader's Edge show, <coughs> we'll take a look at the daily oscillator and change lines for each of these indices out there because that's really the next battle. Spot Balotunix is making its way towards its 50-day exponential moving <laughs> average. Hmm, this could be a different interesting show today. 27.16 is its price target. Now, if price is able to close below that, then the Spot Balotunix would target 21.24, and that would most certainly put the wind in the sails of the S&P 500 and get up to that 41.68 area. The NQ also forming a new daily profile. Now, it is bearish in structure. So the resistance zone that it needs to, that it's going to be dealing with to the upside is 12,622 uh, to 12,995. U.S. dollar index just consolidating with inside its new daily profile that is formed out here. The bottom of which, where's the sport, is 104.25, resistance 104.79. Now, if gold were to close right here, right now, you'd have a bullish hammer candle. That would confirm a buy the D point pattern out there. You've got a TD nine count bottom in the case of silver. Silver has a new daily profile. Price should go target 2276. Light sweet crude has taken out prior resistance. It was a TD9 count area. This suggests that we should see it should start making its way to the 121 level out there. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you again soon.